Spywares Spywares are software which aims to gather information from a particular device without knowledge of the owner or user. This information by using spywares, information can be transmitted to another entity without the user's knowledge. There are various types of spywares. Number 1. System monitors. Number 2. Trojans. Number 3. Adwares. Number 4. Tracking cookies. This is very interesting, Baba. I'll make sure to stay away from such malwares by using the antivirus softwares, which you mentioned in the application softwares tutorial. Can you briefly again tell me how the malwares attack the computer systems? Sure. Let me tell you about various manners in which the malwares can attack the computer systems. Data attacks. Any attack on the integrity, confidentiality and availability of the data. The data can be either inferred by or leaked through to entities without the knowledge of the user. By inference, we mean that the data is seen by the foreign entity piece by piece and put the pieces together to create a whole picture of data. In leaking, the foreign entity gets access to data flow through eavesdropping or backdoor entry. Unauthorized copying of data The unauthorized copying and piracy of data and application is done by many malwares. Software piracy is an example of unauthorized copying of data. Session Hijacking In this type of malware attack, the computer terminal or session is accessed by the user without knowledge of the user. The hacker can gain access into the files of the computer and get data and information which is not the hacker's property. Timed Attacks In this type of attack, the malware such as virus or trojan is coded to be executed at a particular point of time and infect the computer system. Example was Friday the 13th virus. Such virus fool the user into believing the application is useful. But later, the application launches the virus code to perform unwanted operations. So, this was all about malwares that you need to know. I hope this was all very interesting. We will meet again with a new tutorial. Till then, keep learning and watching.